You heard the uh, the sex tape thing from Pippin Ken on here with Bobo and me. Mm -hmm. You know that went crazy. Like, it did. It's like if I was if I was to tell the truth, yeah. You know, like a lot of people don't know, man. You know, I ain't gonna say who it is, but it's a real famous rapper and it's a real famous R and B chick. Okay, say Pimp had a tape. Mm -hmm. He didn't say who was on the tape. He didn't. He didn't say. But people but start. I know who was on the tape. Wait a minute. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow, I man, I trip off the fact, man, that 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 you know you you stayed you stayed down with the whole cause and the movement and what you were a part of. God put you in a situation where you you was with the family. You know those detrimental last two three years that you dealt with them. Those were some time. Those were some explosive times, bro. Like, what do you think, Pimp? Do you think Pimp would be happy with what you're doing right now with the brand and the way that you're you're living your life when you, it comes to representing his name? I would think he would be pleased. Um, resources. I'm not willing to do some of the shit I used to do, so I probably could have shot past. You know, what I'm saying a hundred yards. Uh, 10 times by now but I've been so blessed that I basically want to move the way I'm moving you know what I mean I don't want to clip myself trying to risk it all to do this no more I got I got bona fide ways that turn so I want to keep that type of shit going but what I've done with what I have is tremendous every day somebody hit me and be like man when I got out of jail you did this for me man you did this for me so that's richness to me you know what I mean so I believe he would be pleased Ugh. Straight business. Do you believe he'll be pleased? What's yeah. the thing you miss the most about the pimp? Chad Butler. Elaborate. Chad Butler was more of the, the, the loving person who was very considerate and compassionate about uh, people he knew. Families, uh, old school artists he knew, kids who ran up on him. Just individuals he bumped into. He just always wanted to do something for them. You know what I mean? Um, it's plenty of times we in the mall. Um, I don't even get to tell him, hey, this dude might be an op because this is a nigga my brother shot, you know what I mean? And he buy himself some shoes and he buy me some shoes and he gives the guy his shoes. Mm -hmm. Like we come straight out the store buying shoes and uh, I got my shoes and he got his and we see dude. But I'm looking at dude, he ain't looking like he want no shit. He really looking at me like, nah, man, it's good. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, it is what it is. So Pimp like, hey man, what's up, man? You just got out. He's like, yeah, man, I just got out. And it was big as fuck too. So he like, man, you, you what you doing? Getting some shoes? He like, here, man. He handed him his shoes. And I think he went in his wallet and handed him some paper. You know what I'm saying? So he was always doing shit like that. Uh when Pimp C was present, shit. You gonna be a bitch? Hold up, how? Say, bitch, who you talking to? <laughs> so, so that brings up something else. So you saying Chad Butler and Pimp C? I've heard that before. That, two that, that, two, that there's character. That it, it's all kind of shit going on there. Sweet James Jones. Sweet James Jones. Uh, Maca Jordan. Yeah, and that's that's just a few that I know because what I love. Tony Snow. Tony Snow. You know what I loved was Chad Butler. That's that's the dude. I was at the crib. Eating big barbecue with Ed barbecue and making ribs, mama baking cakes, all the kids running around having a good time. And we there just chilling on some grown men shit, talking about how we gonna provide for our families. That's the shit I was doing it for. Fuck all the fame, all the chains, and all this here trying to put on this persona. Nigga, we were bona fide hustling for that fucking legacy and them kids. Wow. I've had a few people on here, man, and uh I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, these guys tell a story about uh, Master P. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard, I heard uh, OG Percy said the other day, ain't no nigga hit no Texas nigga. Ain't no who's that nigga hit no Texas nigga. You know how he go. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You, you know how OG Percy is. But at the end of the day, um, we've heard this story over and over again. I also seen what GDP put it up to where where it was, you know, where uh, Master P talked a little bit about it. And I know it's old news on the mm -hmm. bridge. I love Master P. I love Pimp C. You know, I love the whole the whole movement of the South. Of course, I don't play about it. All of them coming with me, including Birdman. All of them, including, you know, anything you, Luke, I can grab him from Florida. Yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. Everybody, but for I'm sure. just saying, 
you know, like like that story when you hear it and you've heard it over and over again. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think about it? And even J Dog was just on here and he right. said. J Dog was on here and he was like, "Man, Pimp C told me one day out the blue, man. Yeah, them nigga pistol whooped me. I was having a conversation with me one time, and out the blue he flipped the whole conversation. And he was like, "Yeah, Master P, they they pistol whooped me. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit, we ain't. We you ain't even talking, talking, talking about that. He wasn't talking about nothing about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just give me your spiel on like when you when you heard about it, when you think about it, what are the stories that came to you? The trillest shit I could tell you is this. I got it first from mama. Wow. Then I got let's, it. Let's, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Don't just say I got it first from what mama. What did you get from mama? <laughs> yeah. well, explain it's that. It's just a motherfucking interrogation. Because I ain't got to tell y'all <laughs> shit. I ain't about to. I'm no. about to tell you what I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the information. Then nigga be getting behind these microphones. What? Yeah, I did it at 945. No, I was no, over there no. on 6th Street. In no. my, uh, mama <laughs> man, all is, I can tell mama you West is, is gone. Mama told me. Uh, when he got out, he told me. And then I talked to uh bun manager, Red Boy. He told me. Same so, thing. So it's a very incredible, explosive story. But the lesson in this story is this. If you're going to pop that shit, be ready for the repercussions. Any street nigga know that. Wow. So the pistol whipping story is what you heard. I well. don't know. I wasn't there. How the fuck I pulled? I'm somewhere laid up with a funky ratchet ass hoe and pulled off the pole and broke trying to hustle them cracks. Okay, but what did my? You say mama told you? <laughs> told me what? <laughs> right. You say mama told me about the mouse. Mama told me plenty of shit. We used to hang together. <laughs> plenty. <of years. laughs> so do you, when you think about it, do you feel like these stories keep coming up just because it's the way the internet moves? Because you heard the uh, the sex tape thing from Pippin Ken on here with Bobo and me. Mm-hmm. You know that went crazy. Like, it did. like if I was if I was to tell the truth, yeah, you know, like a lot of people don't know, man. You know, I ain't gonna say who it is, but it's a real famous rapper and it's a real famous R and B chick. Okay, yeah, Pimp had a naked. He had a recording of them. I think he died with it, but he could he could have made millions of dollars. And and some of the people that's higher up in rap, if they would have seen that tape, you know what I'm saying? Me, it would've, you think that Kim Kardashian shit was something? Yeah, this would have blew it out the water. Man, this shit was this this. I just I'm gonna do I'm, for, use your imagination. The biggest R&B chick in the game. I already wow. know who it is. And one of the biggest rappers, you know what I'm saying? They made the most money in the game, and they wasn't supposed to be together. Or, or they were together and nobody knew it. They still together now. Are they still together now? <laughs> wow. But it he I'm gonna tell you something about Ken. Mm-hmm. Ken never said who was what. He said, mm-hmm. I knew a story. What did he say? He said, I knew a story. He said, I I, I remember a, a story being told. No, he said he was there. He said Pimp had a tape. Mm-hmm. He didn't say who was on the tape. He didn't. He didn't say, but people but started. I know who was on the tape. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. I know. No, but he didn't say who was on the tape or anything like that. But when you hear these stories, you say you know. How would you know? How would I? You know? didn't stop. Yeah, like how? How would I not know so much shit that I do know? Why would I not? So you know who was on the tape? Yeah. Okay. So there was a tape. Yeah. But it wasn't pimp on the tape. That's what I heard too. See, a lot of people hear what they want to hear. Like, I'm on the internet talking to people every day that's coming. Yeah, Pimp C had a sex tape with Beyonce. That's why Jay-Z knocked him out. Come on, man. You niggas are just patching and sewing shit together. You ain't even him what you think you him. Man, hey, man, these people special, man. These yeah. people special. Because some people will say, okay, if he wasn't on the sex tape, then why would he have the tape? Um, Industry shit happens. Why niggas wind up with other people chains? Why niggas always winding up with other people's property? Shit happens. You down with OPP? <laughs> Man, you other people's property. I don't know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.